All right, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to another upload of It's a Dire Thing. Rob here, and as you can see, what the heck am I doing? That's right, man, it is the Tenere 700 from Yamaha 2021. Yes, it's been a long time that we've been waiting for this. Any of you that have been watching any of my videos, um, you can see uh, all the different kind of bikes I go through over the past couple of years now, uh, from MT to FZ, uh, 09s, 07s, uh, MT10s, and then my WR stuff as well, where I like to play off-road. Well, as of this year now, I decided that uh, we're gonna go a little bit, uh, something different here. We're gonna do some adventure touring. So yes, I did sell that MT-10. Bye bye, I'm so sorry, but I'm sure you're having an absolute fun time with your new owner. But I am now here with my new toy, the Tenere 700. So, well again, just because of policy reasons, we are not allowed to film on the property when it comes to our personal channels. Again, so this is not endorsed, affiliated, or sponsored by any way from Yamaha, other than I am a staff member there. And yes, I have the opportunity and the, the, the luxury of purchasing our products directly from company. So, I actually received this bike here as of this morning. Um, well, actually it came in yesterday from, from Japan, which came over to BC and now it's in Toronto. And now uh, I have it today. I've uncrated it, got it all uh, assembled up. Fingers crossed my assembly skills were good. Everything is fine. No, I'm just kidding guys. Like anyways. So what I'm doing here today is actually the first authentic, 100% true, real, not only cold startup, but the initial startup. Now, mind you, don't forget, you know, when the bikes are on factory uh, premises and going through the production, uh, being assembled and all that, yes, the engines are started and fired up to make sure that everything works. But other than that, once they're all put together and then they're put in a great crate and leaving Japan, they are not touched until they come over here, go to the dealerships where they do the PDI, and then they actually physically start them up and take them out for a spin and so on and so forth. So this bike, as of right now, I the only thing I have physically done um, is, is simply put the key in as I'm doing right here, right now, uh, just due to the fact that it comes with the key already in the ignition. I removed the seat, I've charged the battery, so the battery is fully charged. I have not even powered it on, I have not even started it, nothing. So you are witnessing this with me first time hand. What a cold, a true cold initial startup is. Um, you may be wondering why I got a Rotopax on here, it's just because uh, we don't, we're not a gas station, hello, right? So um, we do have to bring in our own fuel when we fill it up because I mean, the bikes don't come with any fuel in it. Uh, so I just put enough gas just to kind of get me up to the road to the first shell station. And I always like to make sure that I always use 100% shell here uh, just due to the fact that there's no ethanol. Um, so yeah, gas is in it, oil is in it, everything is done, the PDI is done. It's all fully assembled, everything, all the specs and the torques are done. What a beautiful bike. So here, right now, you and me, let me get my helmet on. We will do the initial startup. First startup, you can actually see the dash. <laughs> Aren't you excited? Talk about suspense. Yeah, okay, anyways, here we go. So I got my two hands here, so there we go. We got the keys on. I, like I said, I put the fuel in, oil's done, everything is good. Turn it on. Let's take a look here at the kilometers. Look at this, odometer, zero, E. That means I'm not gonna get very far, E. I still have to set my time and all that, right? But yeah, again, odometer, zero kilometers, right? So we are in Canada here. So again, do gotta remember when you do the initial startups, because the system is empty, there's nothing in there, um, the, the fuel pump will have to cycle a couple of times just to kind of push uh, some fuel into the injectors, into the engine. Otherwise, you're gonna be doing a long, cold cranking start, right? So I just kind of flipped it out three times. One, two, and three. So there we go, we've kind of got enough fuel. It's gonna have to crank over for a little bit. It might be a little bit rough at the beginning, so let's give it a go. One, two, three. Ba -da -da -ba -da -da -ba -da -da 
There she goes. There you go. So that is a 100% pure, authentic, cold startup. So there you have it, right? So, oh my God, what a quiet, quiet little engine. So basically what you're gonna do now is you're gonna kind of let the engine run in nice and slow. Uh, because it is the initial startup, you know, you wanna make sure that everything gets polished. You know, you don't wanna overdo it and start revving it and stuff like that. It's not like as if you've been doing any kilometers, right? So the initial break-in is still gonna be 1,500 kilometers, which is the boring part. But again, you can just have some fun, right? Take it easy braking i mean for the most part the engines and all that are pretty good you don't really need to kind of worry about things nowadays as the technology is much better but i think also part of the break-in is also you as the rider or as the new owner you kind of get to learn uh, you know uh, the characteristics of the bike so there you have it man so there we go we got the tenere 700 from yamaha here in canada Look at the brakes. I got the Brembo brakes. That's pretty cool. They actually uh, branded it. They actually got the name Brembo brakes on there. Uh, first accessory I have done to this, as uh, maybe any of you would notice, is the uh, chain guard, right? So not the chain, well, chain guide, actually. That's a chain guard. That's a chain guide. Um, um, it's, a, it's a very inexpensive upgrade, uh, but definitely it is a must. Uh, especially if you kind of go and do some off-road riding, right? So uh, definitely, definitely a, a big plus. Hand guards are going to be a, a first big change on that. Uh, massive skid plate I'm working on. I uh, bought a, a used skid plate and I'm getting it powder coated, making it really, really super nice. So as you can see, this is the blue, gray, black. I don't know what you want to call it. They call it the, what was it? The metallic ice? or something like that so anyways whatever don't quote me on that but uh yeah no she's uh she's looking fantastic this is something that's going to allow me to kind of run uh further north or actually get on the highway and get out of here uh, and then still be able to hit a couple of the trails light trails right so we'll see how these tires go um definitely not a keeper but i'm not going to get rid of them either so i might as well run them out for the rest of the season We'll see what happens come springtime, uh, whether if I go out and I get some TKC, Continental TKC 80s. Um, so anyways, yeah, there you have it, man. It's the uh, Tenere 700. Some adjustments, some things I gotta do. Uh, but other than that, she's good, she's fine. So it is now 12 o'clock, I'm hungry. I've been here all morning getting this all set up. But yeah, for the most part, beautiful little bike. Tenere. I think for the most part, many people are actually going that route right now. It's just kind of getting away from all this racy nonsense crap and uh, looking for something that's uh, not only just better on insurance premiums, but allows you to kind of explore the routes where you know you're kind of limited on some of the bikes where you can only go as far as the asphalt takes you, right? The second you get into uh, no longer asphalt everybody's like turns around and panics or you come around a corner and you see a bit of sand and they're like oh my god right where is this you know you just come here you press the on off road here so press and hold and there we go we are now on to off road move off road move press and hold it again and then there you go she's uh, back to being on road so that is one big number one thing that you always got to remember anytime you take it off road you got to make sure that you press that off-road button because otherwise you're going to be coming around a corner or something like that and you go to hit the brakes and you're sliding because it's not braking you're in a big whole lot of trouble so there we have it let's get going it's been a couple of minutes now she's kind of warmed up to uh, almost operating temperatures so thank you very much for tuning in thank you very much for subscribing if you haven't done so please do so uh, there are actually quite a few accessories that i am going to be putting on this bike here that are coming from uh, amazon canada and amazon us um, I will put the links down below and uh, see if we can start like some kind of affiliated program, right? So again, it's not sponsorship and it's not endorsements, uh, but these are products that I use on my bikes and I've been using on all of my bikes, um, which I actually am very fond of and I do trust. Um, so if you guys are interested in looking into the same things as I do and want to purchase it yourself, please take that link below, hit it up purchase the products it doesn't cost you guys any any more but it does kind of generate a little bit of more revenue for me which is super cool because as you can see i have very expensive tastes and i'm constantly buying bikes so anyways enough talking let's get riding 
talk to you guys later. Be safe, be good, have fun, keep it covered. Cheers, thank you very much. Bye-bye. You are quiet. So this actually, you can take this, these covers off and then there's four bolts that hold this baffle or the spark resistor inside. So physically you can take that off, but uh, some people say the sound of it is not very nice. So anyways, I think if anything, uh, I'm going to uh, change the exhaust. Akropovich or something pretty decent there. We'll see what it looks like anyways. All right, man, I gotta eat. Oh, let's put my gloves. Oh, that's my keys, home keys. I need my garage keys. All right, let's go for a little ride, eh? I'm hungry, I gotta go eat. I don't even know what time is it, what time is it? What time is it? It's one o'clock.